Hi everyone, welcome back to World of Subways 3, the London Underground. It's been a long time since we've um, done anything on London Underground, so I thought we'd do, do a quick mission just to uh, relive old uh, joys and uh, happy days and everything. So we're at Aldgate Station, and clearly this is the uh, rear of the train, as there's a big buffer there. Uh, so let's head on in. Um, it's going to be a bit of a challenge, actually. I haven't played this for over a year, I should imagine. So I am trying to... Look at all the, the buttons jiggle. That's quite amusing. Um, oops. Trying to remember all the keys might be a bit of a, a thing. Let's turn the ventilation on. Let's turn the saloon heating on and the lights for the passengers. Because I'm just feeling ever so generous today. And the plan is to do a short route. Can we look at that map? Is that high enough resolution? Not really. So Olgate is literally right in the middle on the right hand side if you see the dark reddish purpley line you see old gate there we're going to go up round the corner past Moorgate, past the Barbican, past Farringdon, Euston Square uh, until we get to Baker Street and that is going to be our destination today so that's pretty cool let's just uh, do a little diversion up here look at the flowers beautiful Beautiful. Anyway, we better not waste too much time. I'm not sure how much um, time we have before we need to be away. So Oldgate isn't particularly busy. And to be honest with you, I can't remember how we're going to do this. So, uh, yep, power. There we go. Two there. Yep. So coming back to me slowly. I might get a number of things wrong, as I say. It's been a while since we played this, and we've played some of the other the other um, games as well, i.e. World Subways 4, which has got different control uh, schemes, so that could be quite interesting to another train rumbling in. We bring up the station monitor. We are due to depart in... Oh, a few. we've got some time. That's okay. We can uh, have a look round. So, we are going to... Baker Street. Baker Street. Oh, here we go. Our old friend. Uh, how do we do this? Press program. Program. Select route. Hammersmith. No. Inner circle. Outer circle. District line. It's got to be the inner circle, isn't it? I'd have thought. Um, it's the circle line, anyway, definitely. So we're going from Old Gate. Oops, uh, let's enter. Enter. Destination is going the wrong way. Baker Street. Automatic announcements enabled. Right, they may not be correct, but they are enabled. Fantastic. We are due to leave here at 4.58. Oh, we've got plenty of time. Which means I've probably most definitely missed something. Oh, I'll tell you what we can do. Open the doors to let the uh, passengers on. Please mind the gap between the train and the um, well, we've got a few minutes, so we might as well have a look around at Allgate Station. Because, um, as I say, it's been a while here. And, uh, you know, I like, I like, I still, even though this game is so old now, I like the modelling on this game. Yes, yeah, the graphics aren't the best, but they've actually gone to a surprising amount of detail, haven't they? To do all this area, which, you know, technically is not part of the main function of the game to run around the stations but you know we've got the opportunity to we've got another train coming in there coming a wizard you're a wizard Harry yeah it's all looking good but we better not go down there we might not be able to get back to our train in a rush so the circle line here we go so if we can find Olgate which is at the bottom left hand corner uh, as you can see, we will come around the bottom, so to speak, <laughs> once for a better phrase, uh, into Liverpool Street, Moorgate, Barbican, Farringdon, King's Cross and Pancras, uh, all the way up to Baker Street, which is, um, yeah, about my head height. About head height, yeah. Uh, so that is our route for today. Right, let's... Um, <laughs> Not leave the train unmanned. Is anybody actually on yet? 
Oh yes, we got a, a couple of early passengers. Hello, ladies. Off for a night out somewhere? Well, actually, it's it's um it's about rush hour, so it's about five o'clock in the afternoon. It's uh, yes, three minutes to five, and we are due to be away in under a minute. So, um, service application. Obviously, we've got the dead man switch. It's the same. Okay. Oh, <laughs> this is we're going to make some blunders in there. So, I can assure you of that. Right. Few more minutes until we are away. So have a quick sip of coffee. Careful, sir. Do not step over the yellow line. It's there for your safety and that of every other passenger. Okay. Five seconds. Four seconds. Three seconds. Closing the doors. Oh, dead man switched down. We might actually go somewhere then. Uh, hang on, we're not going anywhere. Got to build pressure up. Oh my goodness, this is ah. Uh, after sitting there so confidently, it's all gone wrong so early. There we go. We've got pressure now. There we go. Now we're away. Fantastic. Okay. Confidence dented straight away, but not not to worry. We will we will get there. So we're gonna roll out of here slowly at just under ten miles an hour. Ten mile an hour the limit. Green signals ahead. Should be as I say, looking at the uh, destination, it should be a very short route, about seventeen minutes, which is not too bad at all. Liverpool Street station is next in five hundred and twenty meters. We can go forty miles an hour here, so let's start accelerating. the camera angle so I can see a bit more. So the ease are off. Now there's been some call for doing some more uh, under London, un not London Underground, sorry, World of Subways. No it's not, it's Liverpool Street. Oh god. I knew I'd get that wrong. That announcement board hates me. Right, let's try and sort this out. No, it's not Tower Hill. Program. It's got to be out then, is it? Enter. Oldgate. Enter. Baker Street. It's not Outer Rail then. It's not the district line. Ah. Oh. Select start. We are. This is Liverpool Street. I give up with this stupid thing. Well, what we what we do expect to be honest with you. It's been such a long time since we played this. Bound to get it wrong. Right, we're due to leave here at uh, ages ago. So let's get moving. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, and here I thought we'd have a nice, pleasant un London Underground experience. Oh, it's all gone wrong straight away. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, some calls to do some more uh, World of Subways. So, um, I may do some more World of Subways for New York Line, uh, but I've recently purchased both World of Subways 1 and 2. 1 is New York again, and 2 is Berlin, I believe. Uh, I haven't actually um, installed them and played them yet, um, but obviously they're older games, so they're going to have um, slightly less impressive graphics, I was going to say, but you know what I mean. They're going to be slightly more dated, um, some of the, the features are going to be slightly dated as well, but I thought that'd be quite an interesting um, visit back in the past to have a look at those. At least we've got the uh, announcements right at last. Thank goodness for that. Right, due to depart here uh, ages ago. No, two minutes past, so it's not too bad at all. 
we're not doing the announcements. We're just going to try to make some time up. So yeah, I might bring you some World of Subways one and World of Subways two, as well with the uh, a bit of World of Subways four as well, and maybe just maybe the odd video of uh, London Underground in there as well, because it's still one of my favourites. I still I think I still prefer this over World of Subways four. So yeah, you can expect to see some more of that. It's not going to be like a, a weekly series, but I will try and get some more out. If it goes, if I have a quiet period, as it were, but not much else is going on, then I may turn it into uh, a mini series as well. We shall see. But the the World of Subways games always seem to do quite well when I do a video on them. So there's obviously a, a desire to see some more world of subways and there's a demand out there so let us try and fill that demand right due to depart here at 504 we are back on track peeps after that inauspicious start oh my goodness me <clears throat> right on to Farringdon after this one we've got a few more we might actually do a uh, announcement here so have a look at the announcements. Um, we might as well do one. This train is ready to depart. Please stand clear of the doors. So there's a late rush at the back of the train. Give them a few seconds. There we go. Okay, 450 meters ish till Farringdon. Oh, so, yes, touching on, continuing on what I was just touching on. Um, yeah, I feel the the, the fans of um, trains and stuff have been a little bit neglected on my channel recently. So uh, I'm going to make up for that. We we'll do some more um, subway things. We might bring a few more train simulator in there as well. We haven't done a video on that for ages, so uh, I'd like to do some more on that. I, I, the problem is. You play so many games when you're doing videos on them, uh, but you only play them for short periods, every you know, week or so, or a couple of weeks, and it's and you, you definitely lose that kind of momentum you have with them. Um, so, for example, if you're playing a game, you know you did somebody did, people are falling through the platform back there. Did you see that? Rewind it back a few seconds. Two people definitely fell through the platform. That was amazing. I've distracted myself once again. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> oh yes, yeah. When you when you're jumping around for different games and and stuff to uh, make videos, you get such a, s a small time actually playing the game. It, it, you're not playing it very well because you you not you forget the controls or you know you forget all the little nuances of the game, how to really maximise your performance. And that's when you get a lot of comments saying, "Oh, you should. Why aren't you doing that?" Blah blah. It's because you know you're playing so many different games and concentrating on recording, looking at the sound to make sure that's recording okay, and make sure the levels are okay, all the way through it. Um, you've got a very small attention span, and actually, we're speeding on the games themselves, so you don't you're not playing them perfectly. Ideally, you'd just play the game, and you'd probably play a couple hours of it in a time, and then you know chuck split that up into episodes then do an after recording of the voice but uh, you know it, it's very noticeable when you're doing a commentary after the event it doesn't quite always feels a little bit stale obviously you, you, you're always reacting to what's happening rather than explaining why, what you're gonna do next so uh, I think live commentary tends to be more more popular with um, most people but you know everyone has a different opinion Right, King's Cross St Pancras in 420 metres. Nicely tootling along here at 38 miles an hour. Oh, we got a green and an amber. We're going down to 25. We got a red signal ahead. Oh, it's gone green and we got a red and amber ahead. So we've got a train ahead by the looks of it. Uh, so we'll just we'll just go carefully. Although it's a, fi a 40 speed limit, there's a lot of 25 signs here. So I'm not sure why the speed limit is actually. 40. Change for the northern yeah. 
There's a train in front of us. We've got a red signal. We'll just wait here for a second, let him clear out. That does mean we're probably going to be hampered for the rest of the journey unless he splits off onto another track. There we go. Yep, so I am going to spend a little bit more time on uh, the train side of things. I'm trying to bring a lot more train style videos as well back to the, uh, the channel. Because I do love steam trains. I, I was up recently, went for a a long weekend up in North Wales, and they've got so many steam engines running around there. It's absolutely glorious. Uh, and then I've come back home and I've actually had a look in the near vicinity of where I live, and there's loads of steam trains around where I live as well. I just never knew it. So I'm going to actually spend an active summer going to have a look at some of them. So I live uh, um, in just on the edge of Norfolk and I've got my, my girlfriend, she lives in Suffolk and between us we've got like the North Norfolk Railway, we've got the Mid Norfolk Railway and there's also um, one further south which all has steam trains, it's like, <gasps> who knew? Well, to be fair, I never actually paid the attention and spent the effort to go and have a look but yeah, there's loads of stuff in you, I'm sure you got it, everyone's got it in their area as well, just have to actually spend some time and go and have a look. It's one of those things, when you go away somewhere you get the pamphlets and see what's in your area and that, and you know and get them all and uh, go and visit them which is great but when you're when you're at home you never actually bother to have a look what's in your local vicinity well I don't anyway so it's quite a pleasant surprise to find all them so I may be doing a few train journeys this summer I don't know there's something really romantic about a steam train I don't know what it is you know, it's not the same as going down to London on the train. You can do that any time you want. It's, it's not that exciting. It's just, you know. On a steam train, though. Wow. I know that's slightly weird, talking about steam trains when we're actually in a, a London Underground cab. But it kind of fit. It kind of fits. Right, Euston Square, 200 metres. Let's stop rambling. Concentrate. Well, look, this train beside us, he's got one waiting behind him as well. So, oh, it's rush hour, of course it is. There's going to be loads of trains on the tracks at the moment. Don't fall through the platform, anyone. Mind your step. Don't do anything silly. Right, we're due to depart here at uh, 5.11, which is in 33 seconds time. They get on the train nice and orderly. Here comes the second tube running in. Right, as we've got a bit of time, let's do another announcement. Uh, stand clear of the doors. Stand clear of the doors. So she got a little, little while yet, and three seconds to go. Boom. One of the other things I remember now about this game is that this train is far more forgiving to the, with the gears. You don't have to worry about first gear, second gear, third gear. You can just pump it straight into top and she'll just accelerate away. She's beautiful. Right, another... Look at this, another train waiting in the wings to come into the station. It is quite the busy time. So, next station, Great Portland Street, 380 metres. Doors will be on the left hand side. Okay, we'll actually go up to 40 around here. As I say, this isn't going to be anywhere near a perfect run because it's been such a long time since we've done this. Here we are rocking into Great Portland Street. Now, I bet you if I went back and played. 
World of Subways 4 and New York line with that you know it'll be totally different the trains drive differently they, the New York one feels like it's got a, a longer stopping distance probably because it's it's based on an older model and it's uh, probably a, a longer and uh, more heavier train I'm making that up it might not be anything right we were due to depart here at 5.12 so we can depart at any time so we'll give them their two second warning and we are away Right, I think next should be our destination of Baker Street. It is indeed. Oh no, hang on, that's goal. Wait for it to pop up. Up to 40 miles an hour coming out of here. Baker Street in a thousand, well, 900 meters. Champion, we got three minutes to get there. Unfortunately, that train in front of us has uh, not hampered our journey anymore. It's nice to be back on the London Underground, isn't it? I have missed this game a little bit. It is a nice game. It's, um, I don't know. Maybe because I've been on the London Underground like a million times. It, you know, it feels familiar. It's like an old friend. Putting on a comfy pair of slippers, that kind of thing. Here we are, Baker Street. It's nice to see everyone standing back. Normally they're pushing themselves off. Oops, stopped a little bit too soon there. There we go. So this is our destination, guys. Fantastic. Uh, we've made it to Baker Street, relatively unscathed. We've got a dirty old chest there, dirty old Baker Street sign. But Ringo Fly, we can go to Nice for £239 or Monaco for £349. First class comfort, second class price. How delightful. Awesome. And we were due to part here any second but obviously we're not we're not departing because this is this is the end it sounds so final but wait for that to go down clunk 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 bop there we go debriefing score of 82 percent the following things should be better departure schedule was not kept okay i'll accept that destination display was not set up correctly okay fine the announcements were not correct yeah, again, I'll accept that. <laughs> and the braking was too hard. Okay, yeah. So that's perfectly acceptable. 82%. Still not a bad run. Quite happy with that. Boom. Okay, we'll leave it there, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Another London Underground Simulator video completed. As I said, in the future, I may, I'll may i start to have a look at World of Subways 1 and 2. And we'll bring you some uh, more routes on the Berlin line and on the New York line as well. So we might do World of Subways 1 and 4. Uh, and uh, they're both based in New York and that might be quite interesting as well so yeah, you train lovers there will be a little bit more attention coming your way in the next coming months, so uh, look out for that anyway, thanks for joining me on this little trip I hope you enjoyed it, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time